A warning from the Stockton Diocese about fake priests performing religious ceremonies, bilking parishioners out of thousands of dollars. A lot to get to tonight. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. The Diocese of Stockton says more than one man is pretending to be a Catholic bishop or priest. CBS 13 Shante Passmore is in Modesto getting answers on this latest scam. Fake religious certificates issued by imposters? It gets a lot worse. Not only are the ceremonies a scam, but we're told the fake priests are using the names of legitimate priests out of the country. The Diocese of Stockton says this is not a victimless crime. New images show a phony Catholic priest conducting a ceremony and issuing these fake First Communion and dedication certificates. I feel like this is a really predatory um, type of behavior. Concerned parishioners tipped off the Diocese of Stockton. A church investigation uncovered the imposters are using the names of authorized priests in Mexico, including Bishop Raul Gomez Gonzalez. The diocese reports the fraudsters target non-English speaking families. Which is completely wrong. I mean, they shouldn't be doing this type of stuff. People just got to be, uh, you know, uh, be on the guard all the time, you know. They also reportedly charge excessive fees for celebrating the sacraments, teaching classes, and certificates. Whenever someone questioned the services, the diocese said the fake clergy used scare tactics. They were threatened with defamation lawsuits, or they were charged even more money um, because they were questioning it, which is disgusting. Now, the diocese and Majesta police are asking possible victims to come forward. Both say investigators will not ask about immigration status. For the victims and their family, a celebration of the sacraments turned into a scam. As for the fake sacraments, the families did not only just lose out on money. If families baptize their children who later want to get married in their church, they'll have to perform the sacraments all over again since the church won't have any legitimate records.